What's up guys, this is Walid and today's problem is the lithium atom emitting photon. So we're going to be using those guys that has three protons for three, four neutron and we're going to use the atomic mass is 1.6 to the power 27. I don't know why they have this, both of them, but I think we need to take these out. Anyway, so what we're going to do is uh, let's find the total mass. So we know it has seven atomic mass units. And then we need to find, so in one atomic mass unit, there is 1.66 times 10 to negative 27 kilograms. So from that, we multiply this times this, we get 11.62 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. That's the mass of the atom. So we'll save that to later. What we're going to do now is zoom out. Let's find the momentum the momentum of the photon so because momentum are the same conservation of momentum so we can set them both equal to each other but let's find momentum of the photon which is going to be equal to e divided by c and e is they gave us in here it's 1.8488 electron volt divided by the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second. And this will give us 6.166 electron volt times negative 10 electron volt second divided by meter. Okay. So now we have the momentum um, of the photon. Let's see the they want it, well we need to find it in kilogram per meter second because that's what the normal momentum is when you look at it. So the momentum of the photon is equal to e divided by c and the momentum for the atom p atom is equal to mv. So the units for this guy is kilograms times meter per second. Okay, so we need to change this to meter per second. Take this out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply and change this to joules. So six point one six six. 10 to the negative 10 times 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19. Okay, I think this is to the negative 9. Negative 19. Um, so the total unit for this guy, this is in joules, so kilograms, meter per second, divided by second, divided by electron volt. So, and this guy is EV second by meter. So we can take the seconds out, electron volt out. So, one meter, one meter, this is. This one is squared in here, so we got another second in here. So we end up with 9.879 9 times 10 to the negative 23 meter per second. Okay. This, where I got this, this is in joules. This is the same as joules. Okay. So here we go, we got the speed now. Right. No, this is the momentum. 
kilogram. This is momentum of the photon. Photon. So this is momentum of the photon. And both of them are the same. Momentum of the atom, momentum of the photon. So what we're going to do is... There we go. So the momentum of the atom is equal to mv. Okay. Momentum of the atom is mv, and then we have we have the m, and we have the momentum. We can find v, so v is going to be equal to p atom divided by the the m. The m is the same m we found in here. This guy. So p atom is 9.879 times 10 to the negative 23 divided by the 11.62 11.62 times 10 to the negative 27. So this will give us 0 0.085. Let me give you the full one. 0 0.08501 meter per second. So now they want the time it's going to take to travel to travel one millimeters. So we know that time is equal to distance divided by speed. So we have the distance which is 1 times 10 to the negative 3 meters and then the speed is 0 0.08501. I'll plug that in. 3 divided by 0, 0 0.01. And I get 0 0.01176 seconds. I right. hope this guy helps. Sorry, this was a tough problem, but we got it done. So if you guys have any question, let me know and I'll try to answer it. Take care.